Got up here to look jack for the camera. You're looking hollow, hollow. I found a new way. new way. Show me how you do. Tell me how you feel. Cause you say you're living fine all the time. But I know what's real. And it's all the same. Tell me how you deal. Cause you've been waiting on the next thing I would say. I'm on a new What is up, Rich Homies? Thank you for clicking on the video. I got a message from a family friend the other day, and I'm not trying to call this person out. Their intentions were absolutely fantastic. I mean, I know that they just want the best for me, but it's something that I find that happens way too often. And the whole message was revolved around, she was concerned that I was working too much, I might be spreading myself too thin, don't wear myself out, yada, yada, yada. First off, I'm 26 years old, you know? I have no excuses. I'm single, no kids. No, no excuses whatsoever not to be putting in the work right now. And I'm not the type of person that's gonna sit here and tell you how hard I'm grinding, I'm working nonstop, blah, 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 because for the most part, I find the people that do that aren't really working that hard. I see these same people going out in the middle of the day running errands, I'm just thinking, man, I would love to be able to do that. Now, there's a few exceptions. I, uh, I think of Gary Vaynerchuk when I think of that. This guy talks about how hard he hustles, and he really does. Probably the best YouTube channel out there, in my opinion. But anyway, I do work a lot, both at my job and at this YouTube thing. It's kind of like a 24-hour process, but I only do that because that's what I want to do. I don't do it to try to impress the internet. I don't do it to try to make a million dollars necessarily, at least as of now. But uh, I just feel like so many people get caught up in doing the right thing, when the right thing, in my opinion, is doing what makes you happy. I got a message the other day from a guy asking me if he should be playing video games. And the only question I had was, well, does that make you happy? And if so, yeah, you should do it. Now, with anything in life, you can't be obsessed with it. I'll do a video on that sometime, though. You can't be so addicted that you can't do anything else in your life. But the fact is, you should be doing the things that make you happy. Maybe I'm lucky, but it just so happens that the things that I truly, 100% genuinely enjoy doing are the things that per people perceive as maybe the right things to do. Going to the gym, working a lot, building my future, which I guess you should be doing to some extent. But keep in mind, I have, a trouble fi I have trouble finding balance just like everybody else. I struggle going out on Friday and Saturday nights without thinking about work, knowing that there's things that I could be doing. And that's not a good thing either. The take home message here is that we all have flaws and the only thing wrong with that is that if you think that your flaws are somehow better than someone else's. So don't let someone else dictate what makes you happy. You do the things that you need to do for you to enjoy your own life and then hopefully you'll be able to better the lives of those around you. Now I gotta do cardio. <laughs> Can't help but notice Say my name till they wear it out Envy is the focus I've put out good content The books have been good There's no reason to doubt You probably follow I'm on the new web, web. Gotta kill these damn things You're looking hollow just a quick pro tip for you guys. A lot of times when I'm coming home from work or it could be school or really anything you're out doing, what is the first thing on your mind when you get home? Food, right? It's been a long day, you just wanna eat. Well, what I try to do is put off my food as long as possible. That way, I never have to go to bed hungry. And it's a strategy that has worked for me for a lot of years now. So one of the ways I'm able to do that is I'll come home and I'll have something like tea. And for whatever reason, this just suppresses my appetite or at least tricks my brain into thinking that I'm not hungry anymore. Another thing that I'll do is have my Let's see. Ergonine, so this is just my creatine product. And a lot of times what I'll do with this is actually have it after dinner. It's almost like a, it tricks my brain and think I'm having almost dessert just because it's sweet. So those are just a few of the things that I use. This could be a dangerous mission.
there's some environmentalists that probably hate me right now, but those things can kill me. You get it? You get it? My back was hurt. Now I'm kind of better, so I'm back in the gym. We're getting back at it. Yeah. Yeah. Show me how you do. Tell me how you feel. Cause you say you're living fine all the time, but I know what's real. And it's all the same. Tell me how you deal. Cause you've been waiting on the next thing I would say. I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily back to normal, but I am feeling a whole lot better. I'm still a little bit tight. Now, when I was in college, I thought that that was a good thing. I thought that I should feel that way all the time. Now, I was absolutely wrong about that. And as I've gotten older and I've learned and I've progressed, I realized that one of the biggest factors in making gains, getting stronger, is being able to go into the gym feeling good, feeling fresh every single day. So it is not necessarily, or it's not a good thing at all to beat yourself up. Your body should not feel like crap every single day. Now, if you finish a powerlifting meet or a very strenuous training cycle, you might feel a little bit rough. But this is not normal so I definitely do not want to make a habit out of this I don't want to push it too much but I am still trying to make some progression here and not trying to hold myself back so I ended up doing an AMRAP set and stopping at six reps I figured I'd play a little bit safe but I did feel like I had a little bit more in me the next day I'm on a new way. Squats felt eh, not, not the best, but I ended up bumping the weight down a bit, only doing five reps instead of seven. Again, just trying to get back into the swing of things, trying to find that nice balance. And you'll notice that I always get in this cleaning lady's way. I feel extremely bad about it. I try to stay out of everybody's way with the stupid camera. Tell me all your problems. No, I simply can't relate. And if you call me on my cell phone, no, I give it to you straight. I'm on a new wave. So that is pretty much the week of training. Things are back to somewhat normal. And now the most important part, we gotta eat, my friends. That's right. Many years before he became the famous CEO of Uber and one of the most iconic businessmen of this generation. But before we eat, I figured I'd come out and enjoy the weather a little bit. I think that's the only thing I don't like about my job. I'm stuck inside of an office building all day, but other than that, it's pretty fantastic. It's just like the perfect temperature out right now. Sometimes you just gotta get out, just sit here, listen to my audiobook, and you know that I'm a little bit frugal, but the one thing that I do not mind spending money on is my Audible membership. And I feel like you can invest in a lot of things, but investing in yourself is really the only investment that you absolutely cannot lose. So it's like education to me, you know? It's funny because I was so ready to get out of school. Once I finished my master's, I told myself I'm never, ever studying ever again, which is probably true in the traditional college format. I don't like that type of learning, the, for the forced learning, but things that I am enjoy, the things that I enjoy, the things that I want to learn about, I love. And I could just sit out here and listen to this guy forever. I know you guys are probably sick of me talking about Gary Vaynerchuk, but uh, I'm telling you, the guy is just the man. Okay, we're getting back to the food now. I love BJ's. And given the fact that that was one of my most viewed videos ever, I would say that most of you guys love BJ's too, which I understand. And Pazookis are on a whole nother level, right? And I think this is my favorite healthified recipe ever. Hopefully you guys have seen it. I have a recipe video on it, but if not, very quickly, all you gotta do is add two scoops of any PES Select protein that you like. You could use any protein, but you know my preference. Then we'll do two servings of pumpkin. Just about a couple of egg beaters. And I always forget about the baking powder. I don't know that it actually matters, but some people convince me that it does. And everyone asks me how much I put in there. I, I don't know. I don't measure anything. You guys know that. Well, some stuff, but not this.
375 for probably about 12 to 15 minutes. Now when it first comes out of the oven, you're gonna be confused. You're gonna be like, that looks like eggs, but it's almost like magic because you lay it on the countertop and it turns into a bazooki. It's crazy. Cause you say you're living fine all the time, but I know what's real and it's all the same. Tell me how you deal. Cause you've been waiting on the next thing I would say. I'm I can promise you two things. One, this does not taste as good as a real pizuki, but this is not one of those things where you see it on Instagram all the time, where it could be like the size of a dime, but the angle they're using makes this thing look huge. This is, I think, a 13 inch pie tin, and this has, I think, over 50 grams of protein. So I would highly suggest this. I love it. Tastes great. Again, not as good as a real pizuki, but come on. You gotta, you gotta make do with what you're working with, and I can't even add ice cream because cutting. It's very sad. It's a struggle. And that, my friends, is gonna be the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That's pretty awesome. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That really does help me out a lot, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.